Good morning guys, it's Alicia from Providence Farmstead. I wanted to kind of give you a little sneak peek at what we've been working on in the backfield. So about uh, a year and a half ago, we bought a whole bunch of blueberry plants from Promise Play and Blueberries down in Kentucky. So we have been putting those out. Matt and I got started on these a couple days ago and he had to go to work and then he came home to plant again. These have been sitting in the pots for about a year and a half since we went and bought them. Prime example of what not to do with them when you don't have time. I'm trying to break up the root ball. It's not break for it's been in there way too long. We're mixing peat moss in with our clay dirt so that it'll hold more moisture and break up the clay a little bit. About a one to one is what I saw online but it's probably not getting that close but you see it doesn't want to gum up as bad. Then we're taking the compost out of the chips out of the compost pile that we've got from stall cleaning stalls and things in the barn and mulching around them. Yeah. I expect some of these to not make it because they were in the pots too long. Try to plant them about level. I dug this hole about twice, three times as deep as what I needed and then I filled it back in. It went about three times as wide as what I needed to. So, and my theory is it'll, with the peat moss, it'll hold and soak up water and give the roots a place to expand a lot easier without as much work. Well, uh, we're also amending the soil with bone meal and blood meal. It's filled, it's very poor. The only thing that wants to really grow in it is um, acidic plants like the wild roses and the pine and trees. <laughs> roses and things, and everybody said, Hey, that's perfect for blueberries. So we said, All right, this is my scientific measure about <laughs> that much. I learned that from my wife's cooking. You put a little bit and just a little bit more. I had to start writing my recipes down because I was sick once and he asked me how to make pancakes and he did not like the directions I gave him at all. Yeah, we don't have a box of Bisquick in the cabinet. <laughs> We've got um, flour and all the stuff to make everything from scratch. So when mom isn't there, things kind of get a little weird when dad has to do it. <laughs> well, dad can cook, but I go with a single mom that worked all the time. It was Bisquick. Which, by the way, is nowhere near as good. Okay. Like you would talking. know, Gabriel. Listen to him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't I know if you remember. I put some in the bottom. And up somewhere up here about the middle ways, I've been putting a little bit more. Right or wrong, I don't know. Not an expert. And just a little more, see? <laughs> My thinking was in the bottom of the hole will encourage strong deep root growth and the moisture this will work down into the bottom as well. My luck, I'll burn the plants up. Who knows? We'll see. If it does something I did, we'll blame it on them being sitting in the pot too long, which is also something I did, but we'll leave that part out. <laughs> so, what he's doing now is taking the rest of the soil and we are mounding it up around the bush, almost kind of like a donut or a bowl so that the moisture will flow down into the hole. And then after that, we go over to our composting stall cleanage over there and then we mulch around the berries. And then eventually we'll put mulch in between the berries too so it'll be just like one row of mulch. So some of these are starting to bloom. Um, I have, I think six different varieties because they have different flavors 
This one's got a flower on it. Um, and different times of the year that they produce. The plan was to make sure that we had berries through most of the summer. So I have some that put on berries end of May and through June. And most of them put on berries through July and some that put berries on in August. That way we would have berries throughout the year. I do plan on getting more and keep to keep extending these rows. Um, most of these are blue ray and blue crop, but we also have a variety called Elliot, one called Chandler, and one called Duke. Are you making donuts too, Gabriel? Mm -hmm. We're gonna run out of peat moss before we run out of plants, so. We'll have to go get more peat moss. Might, have enough mm -hmm. for one more. might be enough for one, I don't know. It is. Okay. So, 10 foot the, 3 to 10 foot 6 on our spacing, spacing on between the rows. the rows. 7 foot between plants. I think originally I was thinking 8 or 10 foot because they'd bush out and I could fit the 6 foot mower between them. Should have stuck with that plan, but I didn't. For some reason, I decided to go with 7 foot. And now, obviously, the 6 foot mower is not going to fit between here. So, I think eventually what I'll try to do is just mulch the whole entire row in a mound. We're also going to put some sort of water line out here. We just hadn't decided on what we're putting. Blueberries like a lot of water. Um, we found that out from talking to some other people who grow blueberries. And they lost theirs the first couple times they planted them because they didn't realize how much water they needed. Yep, it sure is. Try it with a shovel, but it just takes so much longer. This was Matt's uh, speedy way to dig holes. He discovered this while planting roses last week. I'll give you a garden update and show you the row of roses we have planted here in a bit. The real thing to do would have an auger on the tractor. Which we have an auger, but it doesn't fit the tractor we have, so. <laughs> and just bring it out and drill a hole. That'd be real fast. Yeah. About a foot and a half deep, probably. Mm hmm So, I'm not sure if the last video, the boys had short hair or not, but they were in need of a haircut, and being, everything being on quarantine, and their hairdresser, their Grammy, who, had stage, who has stage 3 breast cancer, is their hairdresser, so Dad took the clippers to their heads, and now they have short hair. <laughs> better for in the spring when it's hot. It is better for in the spring and they started getting ticks and with Gabriel's long thick hair it was starting to get difficult to do tick checks every day. Chopping up the bigger chunks and mixing the peat moss a little bit in at the same time.
into my first batch of pullets for the year, which these are all egg layers. They're getting pretty big. Hopefully soon we can try to combine them with the other chickens because uh, in the next couple of days I'm expecting 40 uh, Cornish crosses, which are meat chickens. And for a while I'll have them in in a brooder, but then they'll have to go outside pretty quick. We still would like to till this one more time. Um, this is all new garden space and where the potatoes will go. Uh, hopefully we can get it tilled again in a couple days. It rained pretty good on Friday. I feel like I'm running out of space on 96 acres. Don't ask me how that works. Part of it I think is because of deer pressure and I'm afraid deer are going to eat things. Like I've got 50 more bare root strawberries and I want to put strawberry spaces in with uh, landscaping fabric so that we don't have so much weed. The uh, strawberries over here, we can't keep the weeds down. So I want to dig those out and put all the strawberries into rows with the fabric. But um, <laughs> I just don't know where to put them because the deer will eat them and I have to watch that. Interesting. The, we put on beneficial nematodes a few days ago and uh, I'm hoping it helps with the pests in the garden this year. The arugula and purple lady bok choy down here got eaten by flea beetles pretty bad. I have been watching for more flea beetles, but I think I might have eradicated the first batch of them. I'll put more nematodes on towards the end of next week because you're supposed to do it a uh, second time. So I'll do that. Um, you can see a little spinach starting to come in over there. Little bitty ones. The uh, carrots are actually starting to come up. Hey. I found this. Okay. Here's. Gabriel, Sawyer brought out a pair of those. He might have dropped it when he was running back. It's kind of up on Just the put it. A little. Oh, put it in the gator. Okay. Um, we have several varieties of kale and other brassicas coming in. There is lettuce um, that I planted from seed coming up. And I also have some lettuce starts that are doing pretty well. We got three scoops of mulch, thinking we have enough to do everything. But I think we're going to use almost two scoops just on these roses. You thought we would have enough? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody only wanted to get two scoops. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> get three. We we'll probably would have got more, but. We got a whole lot more mulching to do. This was the big one, though. Trying to mow between roses is not fun. We do have some buds. This one here has a few buds. This is the Cinco de Mayo. And it'll be blooming here soon. Especially after next week we're supposed to get in the upper 70s and 80s.